Hi, I'm going to show you how to use NetBeans 6.0 to create Ruby on Rails application which interacts with the Flickr online photo service. So we'll go ahead and create a new Ruby on Rails project and call it Flickr. Let's open up the environment Ruby file and we'll add some code to set up the connection to Flickr. Here I'm using my personal Flickr API key but you'll obviously have to replace this with your own. Next, we click the Views Layouts folder, right click on that, and select New Empty RHTML File. Let's call it Application. Some HTML to this. And basically, what we're doing here is setting it up to use the default JavaScript Ajax libraries and a style sheet called Flickr. Now we'll create a flickr.css file, which we just referred to earlier. We'll call this file sheet Flickr. Let's go ahead and add some CSS to this. Next, we'll generate the Flickr controller. Right click the controllers node and select generate. We'll set the name to Flickr and the views to index. I'm going to delete the default index.html from the public folder so that our application becomes the default instead. Let's add a search form in our index.rhtml file. Let's go ahead and open the routes Ruby file. And add a connector for our Flickr application. Let's see what we have here. Press F6 to start WebBrick and launch the application. We see that we have our form here for search. But we don't really have any code behind it yet. Let's go back and define a search method. We'll go ahead and switch back to the Flickr controller class and add some code. Now we need to create a photo view which will display the results of our search. Go to the Views Flickr folder, select a new RHTML file, and name it underscore photo. Let's replace this with the HTML that we actually want to show up to display photos. Now let's try this in our web browser again by pressing F6. That works, but we should really improve the UI a bit more. Let's put an animated spinner GIF into the public images folder. I'm going to paste that into here. And now let's modify our index.rhtml. And what we're doing here is we're setting in some Ajax features, some JavaScript features that will allow the UI to improve a little bit and to have a spinner show up and a blind down visual effect to show up also. Let's try this again. Now we do a search for NetBeans. We see our spinner and we have the blind down effect. 
Nice.